Hi everyone, we're back with our second chapter. Today's lecture is about Earth-Sun relationship. Our learning objectives are to understand and explain and explain systems, both open and closed systems. Display the different perspectives of geocentric and heliocentric universe theories. Understand Sun-Earth energy relationships and understand and describe all the factors that cause the seasons. What's the geocentric model of the universe? During the many thousands of years, the human beings have been looking up at the stars. Our concept that the universe looks like has changed dramatically. At one time, the mad and sage of the world believed that the universe consists of flat Earth, and some people still believe that, surrounded by the sun, so and the moon and the stars. Over time, ancient astronomers became aware that the stars did not move like the rest, and began to understand that those to where the Earth was the center of the universe is the understandable one. To ancient people look up in the skies and see evident the sun and the moon and the stars rotate around the Earth once a day. For the Earth-bound observer, the ground that they stood on seemed like this fixed point as a reference, a flat plane, which to watch the circle, circling cosmos. In the 16th centuries, Nicolau Copernic began to devise his version of the heliocentric model, where the Sun is the center of the solar system. Thanks to the invention of the telescope, ongoing observations about the motions of the planets and do the refined calculations, astronomers would come to understand that the Earth was not immovable. Nevertheless, for thousands of years, the geocentric model of the universe will remain the accept cosmological system and was used to calculate the position of the planets, eclipses, and other astronomical phenomena. So, our planet is a very complex system. But what is a system? A system is composed of three basic elements. First is the set of members or components. Second is the flow of energy to power them. And third is the internal regulation, known as a feedback. The Earth is made up of a series of components. The higher atmosphere, lithosphere, and biosphere. The solid Earth is the lithosphere. The gaseous mantle surround our planet is the atmosphere. The living organisms comprise the biosphere and the cryosphere lies with solid water, and the liquid water sphere or hydrosphere. So that's our beautiful planet composed of so many systems. So the function of the systems that are constantly interacting and adjusting to both internal and external factors is the continuous alteration of the circles that produce the environmental conditions that we experience be classified as open or closed system. A open system, energy and matter flow through the system boundary. A closed system is a shut off of what is surrounded, is self-contained in terms of energy and matter, and is very rare found in nature. Think about Earth as an open or a closed system. So think about that. Earth is an open system in terms of energy. Earth is a closed system in terms of physical matter and resources. With every action, there is a reaction, and that can be positive or negative. It's called feedback. So feedback is a response to an action as a part of a chain of cause and effect. System feedback can be positive or negative. Imagine that you want to lose weight and start a diet. After a few months, you weigh yourself and find out, wow, lost, I lost a lot of weight. That means your diet is working. You should keep doing it because you got a positive feedback. However, after all the sacrifice, you didn't lose any pound. That means your diet is not working and you got a negative feedback from your scale. So, climate feedback is a process that can be either amplified or diminish the effect of climate forces. Feedback that increase the initial warming is called positive feedback. 
and feedback that reduces initial warnings is negative feedback. An example of positive feedback is the ice albedo feedback. Ice reflects sunlight better than almost any other material on Earth, and in reflecting sunlight, it's lower the amount of insulation absorbed by Earth, which makes it colder. If the Earth becomes colder, of course, more ice may grow, covering it more area and thus reflecting even more insulation. As a result, turns cools the Earth further. Thus cooling investigation, ice expansion, which promotes additional cooling and so on, this is a clear a cycle that feeds back in itself to encourage the initial change. Since it is chain of events further the initial change that triggered the whole thing, it's called positive feedback. But note that change may not be a good thing for our perspective. Positive feedback mechanisms tend to lead to runaway change. Some small initial change is thus accentuated into a major change.